expanding algebraic expressions. We're going to get right into the examples here. These are not overly difficult. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Basically, when you're expanding algebraic expressions, you might have seen we draw kind of like a little arc that joins the 4 to the 2a and also joins it to the 3. So whatever number is outside the brackets is joined to each term inside the brackets. And we multiply. This is the trick. All right. 4 times 2a is 8a. 4 times 3 is 12. Notice that we put a minus between it. All right, let's look at question B. Same thing again. This time the negative 3 connects to the 5 and connects to the negative 4b. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Okay, and this is where it gets a little tricky because we're also going to go negative 3 times negative 4b. So we've got a double negative happening here. 3 times 4 is 12. And because of the double negative, it becomes plus 12. And we've got a b there. We need to put a b at the end of it. All right. Last question, question C. And this is one that's quite unique because it doesn't have a number, which means technically it's 1, negative 1, in fact. So we're going negative 1 times C and negative 1 times negative 5. Negative 1 times C is negative 1C. Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5 because of the double negative. And as always, we never put a 1 in front of a pronumeral. It should be negative C plus 5.